Well, here we are with our project car. It's a Range Rover L322. That's a big size Range Rover, and this fix only applies to that. Now, as you can see, one of the brake lights has virtually failed. A couple of the LEDs do come on, but uh, the whole LED array isn't working. You can actually buy a complete new unit for the uh, LEDs, or even indeed a complete new... Uh, brake light uh, set itself but there's no point in spending several hundred pounds or dollars in uh, in replacing the entire unit you can actually buy a separate just led to insert in that but you don't even have to pay that just for a few pennies you can replace the components on the led and get it working again First thing, you've got to get the unit out of the car, just unscrew the bolts on the side, it's a 10mm bolt for that, uh, and then pull it. Uh, if you're going to use a screwdriver to lever it out, remember to pack out the screwdriver, otherwise you'll damage your paintwork. Then just unclip it out of the car, there we go, it's coming out quite nicely. Uh, those uh, clips can be a little bit stiff, so lay it on its side on a cloth uh, to unclip it. And then inside you can see the separate wires going to the LED. Now I have to take those off and then take out the LED unit itself. So unclip it, there you go, it can be quite stiff. It's actually on a hinge at the bottom with two little clips up the top and then just unplug the plugs itself and you'll be able to take out the unit and then take it round for testing. Now for testing itself, Radley made a separate unit to test it, took just a uh, simple 9 volt ca uh, calculator battery uh, and then plugged it in. Remember that the small plug is actually positive and the great big plug is negative. But see, we've only got three working LEDs. In fact, one of the LEDs we can see has obviously failed. It's burnt out. Now, you can buy replacement LEDs for just a few pennies uh, to go in there. I couldn't find a red one, so I had to use a multicolored one and then bend away two of the cathodes so it came out red. And then the actual problem was quite clear. It was just a failed diode. So just get a normal diode, a 12 volt diode, one watt will work. See how we're bridging the failed diode with a new one and it's quite clear that that is the problem. So we need to take out the old diode, just unsolder it and then throw it away. It's obviously failed after a decade in use or so. And then solder in the new diode. So just cut the leads to size and then solder it in place. Although you've got to be quite delicate with the soldering iron, otherwise you might end up me me melting some of the other contacts in there and some of the other LEDs. But anyway, as soon as it's in there, uh, and you can actually see the other LED that we've replaced over there on the left-hand side, we can test it, and it's fantastic, it's working. We didn't have to spend hundreds on replacing the entire unit or even wait for a complete LED unit to be delivered. We could just get a new diode and a couple of replacement LEDs. Pop it back into the car. Um, reassembly is a reversal of removal. So just slot it back in, 10 millimeter bolt again on both sides. Uh, give it a good hard shove and you'll hear a clunk as it uh, clicks back into place. There we go. Put the bolts back in and then we're ready to test it for real and see if our ultra cheap fix actually worked and this is a nervous point but yeah all of the leds come on so the problem was simply a failed diode in the unit and there you go we've got a working brake light